Hey, Karen Equity folks. Um, day three is upon us, and I just wanted to come in and share a couple of um, thoughts about some of the conversations that have been going on around the topic of care. First of all, I'm just so happy to see um, people sharing their responses to the questions and also responding to each other a little bit. It's really exciting to see some um, conversations emerge. One of the, uh, I, kind of, I think I have like three takeaways that I wanted to talk about, one of which was, um, in response to is a little bit of a conversation in response to a comment that Anne shared about when a time when te uh, care has felt particularly difficult or fraught. And it really raised this question for me about the interplay between care and fairness um, and the way in which sometimes when we extend flexibility to a student and maybe even feel like they're taking advantage of it, we then back away because we start to worry about, well, is this fair to everyone else in the class? And the thing it reminded me of was a lesson that I learned when I was kind of a young parent, um, once my second child was born, um, because so much when you're a kid is about, you know, are my parents being fair to me? Is, is, the, is, the, love, is the playing field fair between me and my siblings? And I had to kind of learn pretty you know early on that um as a parent my kids were different people and had different needs and so fairness wasn't about making sure i applied the exact same rules and uh, addressed every situation the exact same way with both of them it was about making sure i was being fair to their particular situation and their particular need um irrespective of the of the the playing field and that can be really tricky. It can be really tricky to do as a parent. It can be really tricky to do as a teacher. And it can be really tricky to help the, the children or the students understand what it is you're doing, that you're looking out for them individually and that your relationship with them is individual at that level. Um, so what you, how you respond to one student may not look exactly the same. That doesn't mean that you're playing favorites. It means that you're actually trying to be really mindful and respectful of who they are as individuals. And I just wonder what other people think of that, whether or not that resonates or makes sense, or do you think, no, you really have to be um, kind of consistent about, um, about how you express care or how you um, center care um, in your relationships with your students. So that was one takeaway. Um, and now I've forgotten the other two, but that's okay. Um, I think I'll leave it at that. I'm really curious to hear, there'll be lots more time to talk. Um, I'm really curious to hear what other people think. And the other thing I just wanted to mention is, you know, we've preceded the question, preceded, not preceded, preceded the question space of the module with some questions of ours that we brought to the table, but you should feel at any time like you can go in and, and add a question or a prompt. There's a little box to do so at the bottom of the questions page. Um, feel free to get the ball rolling on that. That can be anything from like a highly specific, hey, this thing happened. I'd love to talk about it more. Anybody want to give me some feedback? To I was doing a, one of the readings and a thought occurred to me and I'd love to hear what people think. Um, you know, we have ideas, but our ideas are by no means the only ideas that we should be having about this concept of care and the concept of equity. We really do want you to feel empowered to bring your own particular perspectives, your own, own particular needs, and your own particular questions to the conversation. So hope to see some people jumping in and doing that in the next day or so. And we'll see you later.